So this is my understanding of the situation. Um, the governor of Colorado hates us. Um, but that doesn't mean he's a bad person. It just means that he hates us because we're criminals. So he has made it his mission in life to put me in jail. But it's difficult to put me in jail because there are a lot of people that um, don't agree with putting me in jail because they understand... Um, the forced part of my situation and they also understand my value as a person that deals with the entire world and by the way um the chinese spokesperson does not sound like he's trying to fight us uh, he's, he sounds like he's trying to work with us and so um i feel like once sometimes you can say something like the united states released this bioweapon and they were specifically targeting china um and um and then not always agree with yourself. Cause sometimes I, uh, sometimes I don't agree with myself. All right, so this governor wanted to put me in jail probably because um, when I was on Instagram, I threatened Brett Kavanaugh. Um, I said that when I, cause basically I came up with a solution for the energy crisis um, that requires a lot of steel and a lot of um, carbon emissions and um, I, I said that the United States should give me Nevada as my own territory and um, I can be the dicta dictator of Nevada with the board of directors of this company I was going to start to solve the energy crisis and um, and then I said I I'm going to take Brett Kavanaugh out there and um, do bad things to him because um, I think he's a serial rapist even though I don't know but I do know that we are from Washington D.C. and we're from a lot of places, but one place we're from is Colorado. And that's the thing is if, if you're, if you're the governor of Colorado, but then you're so against us, then you don't understand how much of your population you're against. Um, and I, I don't know how many people he's put in jail, but I feel like he has put a lot of people in jail and that actually was beneficial it, or is beneficial for me odd enough because the amount of drugs they've busted means that I haven't been selling COVID-19 drugs because this guy busts everything that leaves this county. So um, Colorado has been, I mean, I don't know for sure, but uh, apparently the whole state of Colorado, as far as drug deals, has been shut down. Um, but there are a lot of states that have special security situations, and that's what I don't think the governor has ever understood, um, is that Colorado has a special security situation. Texas has a special security situation. California has a special security situation. Um, Florida has a special security situation. Virginia has a special security situ situation. Washington, D.C. has a special security situation. Um, who else? Las Vegas, Nevada, because Nevada has a special security situation. Um, I don't know. Uh, when, when you have a special security situation, you kind of need to get to the point that you realize, uh, maybe I should actually be focused on the enemy that is actually against me instead of the enemy that is for me because if there's anything we're for is for our own people and um that's why i'm in colorado and i mean i i i mean i'm i'm not i'm not saying anything. i mean i don't know anything about him and i don't want to talk about him because i'm afraid that people are going to come after me but i feel like um odd enough our, our local government or our our Colorado springs has more power than the entire state of colorado because of all the military stuff because it's so federal. Um, and so uh, that's probably why I'm actually protected. Because I did, I, I um, threatened a federal judge. I said, get out of my state. Because I thought World War III was breaking out because these nukes went off in Russia. And that was right after I said we should start World War III. And um, I tried to part partner with the Chinese. And then... Um, and then I said that we, sh you, I wanted to kick out everyone who's an enemy of us in this state, and that included, um, I think it was Neil Gorsuch. Well, well, no, was it? Um, I don't know. Um, so that's probably why um, someone would want to arrest me. But um, the the reason I was doing that specifically um, was because number one, I thought that I thought a war was a world war was breaking out, and I was like, these people need to get out of here because I know what they're like. They're always threatening me, and they have guns. Or they, in the past, they have threatened me because there are a lot of undercover cops in this state that are that are government welfare babies, 
and they stalk people and they make it dangerous for us and I wanted them out because I don't want them to put us in danger. Because I'm, who gets sick of being in danger? More than anyone in the world. Who just wants to be safe? That's all I want is to have um, a private area that only I and the people that I invite can go to and then I don't have to worry about anybody that I don't know being around me. That's like my dream, but that's not the life I have. So I was in a bad situation. I said, I want, I said, y'all need to get out of this state and straight up that was really freaky, but I don't know how many followers I had. I probably didn't have that many followers. Um, but I also said that about the FBI. And then the next day I said, the FBI needs to get out because seriously, who, who has murdered people in this state? A lot of them enough the FBI. Um, and, uh, who has beat people up? Who has robbed people more than anyone in the state? I'm just saying, it's it, it's pretty much the FBI. So I said, you guys need to get out of the state. And um, then um, a guy from Quantico starts faking like he's drawing his gun on me. He, he, I go to this, I go to I go to this bar or this restaurant. I'm going to have a sandwich, and uh, he's talking about how he's from Quantico, you know, like where the FBI training facility is. And then he starts going like, and then he does this, like he's about to draw his gun on me. And he's not the first person that's tried to trick me into drawing my gun. Um, but so yeah, that happened. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm saying is, um, I don't know what I'm saying. I, I had no idea this guy was against us. And, um, I feel like I, I don't realize how many people are against us all over the place. And some people don't like, like, well, this is our state. And it's like, well, this is our country. No matter what you think, we make this country survive. And um, what you have now is a president that follows your values. And what are your values? Money, money, money. Worship the paper and it's paper. Um, and guess what you don't have? Someone like me who's in charge who would tell you the truth and that who, who, would, who, who would stay focused on what actually matters in your country. And so, you know, you, you, you reap what you sow and, and we've elected Donald Trump because I think that's what we value. So...